These two slingel and snare drums, manufactured circa 1936, represent a major departure from the earlier two blug snare drums manufactured by Slingeland from their inception around 1928 through the first part of the 1930s. They are both six and a half by 14 solid steam vent maple shells with re-rings and they both have eight tapped lugs with no inserts and they both have three-point strainers which lasted all the way from Slingeland's in inception into the 1960s in various iterations. These drums have the earliest extended adjustable bridges and they have the original snare wires. An unusual characteristic of these drums is a combination of chrome and nickel plating. All the lugs on both drums are chrome plated and the strainer and bridges on the drum furthest from the camera is also chrome plated, whereas the other drum, those same items are nickel plated. The drum furthest from the camera is called a broadcaster model. That presented a problem because Gretsch was already using that name. Thus Slingelin came up with another name, Radio King. At the same time, Gene Krupa joined the Slingelin company where he would remain for the rest of his life. And he was to Slingelin what Ringo Starr was to Ludwig in the 1960s. So here is the broadcaster. 